So the Jacksonville Jaguars have just taken Stanford tackle Walker Little at 45th overall in the second round of the 2021 NFL Draft. This is a tremendous value pick for Walker Little. He has only played one game in the past two years, and that's obviously the concern with Walker Little is the injury. Uh, going back to 2019, opted out of this past season. So there are concerns there, but teams have been able to look at him medically. They've seen him work out. They believe the explosiveness, explosiveness is there. The consistency will be there. He's so going into that 2019 season. He was projected to be a first-round pick in a lot of boards right up there with guys like Andrew Thomas and Tristan Wirtz and those guys who ended up going the first round. He was projected to be among that group. And now, one game in the past two years, so you're a little bit worried about all that because you haven't been able to see him, see him develop. But even before getting hurt, it looked like he was adding on some good weight, uh, building up his strength because his issues have really come in the running game. He was a great pass protector, but he was not getting a ton of movement up front. So that was the concern for Walker Little at the time. We'll see if that is still probably an issue for him coming into the draft and going to Jacksonville. It might be, but even so, I think they'll feel very comfortable getting him here, playing him at right tackle, or maybe even left tackle, because he played left tackle at Stanford, and Cam Robinson's only on a one-year deal right now. He's on the franchise tag, so there's a chance Walker Little gets to play left tackle next year. And I think he has the ability to play left tackle. I mean, if you look at the stuff that Pro Football Focus PFF was saying about him, this guy is a legitimate prospect who could have gone the first round had he just been healthy. If he'd come back and played this year, he would almost guarantee have been a first round pick. It's just that he couldn't play. He opted out. So Walker Little, a tremendous pickup here for Jacksonville. I think it makes up significantly for taking Tyson Campbell earlier with the top pick in the second round because that was definitely a little bit of a reach after, well, it was a reach, especially after everything they did this offseason to address the cornerback market and also getting C.J. Henderson last year in the first round. So this is, a, I have a by far, a better selection than Tyson Campbell. And now you have a guy who could potentially battle for right tackle snaps this year and maybe move to left tackle next year.